Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the video, uh, I just want to point out, yes, I have bruises on my arm. So I don't want you guys to see them like halfway through the video and think that I've been abused or something. Wow, this is a great intro cat. But basically, I went to the snow last week and I just don't think my body can handle the cold. I guess my blood vessels can't handle like the change in temperature. And yeah, it resulted in these massive bruises all over my arms. They're almost completely gone though. Anyway, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, it's that time of the year again where you guys start going back to school or college. Thankfully, my school and college days are like well behind me. I made it out the other side, guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a really, really quick uh, back to school makeup routine because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like me and quite enjoy their sleep. And I would sleep to the last possible moment before I had to get up and go to school. Or college. Now I never really wore makeup in high school. I went to an all girls Catholic school. We weren't allowed to wear makeup. It was run by a nun. But I would wear it sometimes to uni. So this video is for you guys that love your sleep and only give yourself like five minutes to get ready. So yeah, if you guys want to see this really really simple and quick back to school makeup routine, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with my base. I did pick really affordable products for you guys because if you're at school or uni, you probably don't have a lot of money. Excuse me. I was so broke in university, I had to live off like $2 lasagnas. Okay, first is an optional step. I would never really bother with this, but I'm just gonna pop on some of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer just on my pimples. My skin also did not like the snow or the fact that it was too cold for me to wash my face at night. <laughs> now I'm just gonna quickly blend out that concealer with a beauty blender. If you're a broke uni or school student, uh, don't buy the beauty blender. It is way overpriced if you're broke. I'd recommend getting the Real Technique sponge instead. I feel like those were $7. Whereas this is like $20. So we're gonna skip foundation today and go in with a BB cream instead. Now I have heard this is kind of hard to get in the States, but I do believe it's available on ASOS. This is super easy to get in Australia. Well, once the tables have turned. So this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix BB Cream Anti-Fatigue 24 Hour Hydrating Thing. I love this for every day because it's so quick to apply and it's got the lightness of a BB cream uh, while still having the coverage of a foundation. You can totally just apply this with your fingers but I am going to use a sponge just because I hate getting my fingers dirty. And I'm just going to blend this in. Now I did ask you guys on my Instagram to send me some questions about school that you want me to answer in this video, sort of like an advice video. Uh, James Charles did this and I thought it was a really great idea. So the most common question I got was how to deal with a workload. I am one of the laziest people on the planet and I will procrastinate until the very last minute. So I'm gonna give you advice I should have followed, but I didn't quite. But I wish I did because it would have made my life so much easier. First tip is to write your assignments and exams due date down as soon as you get them. I feel like my biggest lie throughout uni and high school was that I can remember it without writing it down. Don't tell my lecturer, but I actually handed in an assignment after uni had finished. <laughs> like after I was all set to graduate, I realized I hadn't handed one of my assignments in. But they hadn't closed the online submissions yet, so I just submitted it. And to this day, no one's pulled me up about it and I still have my degree. My next tip would be to delegate your tasks. So whatever's worth the most points, is that right? Whatever influences your grade the most, prioritize that and then do the smaller stuff later. Also set a limit on how much social media you can use. Like there are points where I had to deactivate my Facebook account because it was just getting too distracting. And what probably helped me the most was getting an A1 calendar of the six months and then writing on it when everything was due and when my exams were and like color coding everything. So every morning I would wake up and I would see my giant calendar and know basically what assignments I had for the next six months. Okay, now that I've been applying BB cream for the last 10 minutes, usually this step takes me like 30 seconds when I'm not giving advice. Now onto concealer, I'm gonna take a lighter shade of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This concealer is amazing, it's like $7 and the coverage is awesome. It's really similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, but like a fraction of the price. And I'm just gonna put this on my dark circles. These got really bad at uni when I'd have to pull all-nighters on assignments. So we're just gonna fake getting eight hours of sleep. And again, just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. The next question I got a lot of was how to deal with high school drama. So my main piece of advice for this is know that once you graduate high school, it's over. You will probably never see those people again, never have to deal with them. I think out of the 90 something people I graduated with, yes, I went to a really small high school. I only see 
one of them regularly and I only keep in contact with three of them. And that one person that I see regularly is one of my best friends and we weren't even friends in high school. <laughs> I found out when I went to uni that she was living down the street from me and we just became friends from there. So just know it will be over once you finish high school. You will look back on it and be like, wow, that was so stupid. And the people causing the drama will also look back on it and feel like an idiot. Okay, now I'm just gonna set my face with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is again a really awesome product that is so affordable. And at uni there was basically no drama because everyone's there because they wanna study the same thing. So you naturally have similar interests. And people tend to grow up a lot more when they're at uni because you're paying to be there as well. So whilst in high school, just know that it will end. I've made it out the other side, guys. I can vouch for it. So I'm just going to pat that powder on first under my eyes because that's where I get the most creasing. That was a bit much. Then I'm just gonna switch to a big powder brush. Set the rest of my face. Now for my bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Kate Sculpting Palette in Coral Glow. This was like $10 and you get all three things in it and it's actually really good. It was in my yearly favorites. So I'm just gonna start off with the bronzer, bronzer. So I'm just gonna start off with the bronzer and use it to warm up my face a bit. Okay, next question I got was how to pick your majors. In high school, if you know what you wanna do at college or university or out in the real world, I definitely pick majors to reflect that and help you along with that. But if you don't know what to do, I would definitely suggest picking stuff that you are good at or you have an interest in. Basically, in high school, you wanna get the highest grade possible so it's easier for you to get into the uni course that you want. Personally, I wish that I had tried harder in high school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school so that really affected the effort I sort of put in and also my parents had a big say in what majors I picked. They picked chemistry and I absolutely hate chemistry so I did not do very well at it. So anyway, I did all right at high school, but I didn't get the GPA I needed to get into interior design, which is what I have a degree in. Which leads me to the next question I got, which is how to deal with not getting into the degree that you wanted. Now I cannot talk for the States because I do not know how it works over in America, but in Australia, if you do six to 12 months of another form of education, so like go to TAFE, do an internship, do a different uni course, then that gets rid of your GPA from high school and it goes off your sort of like GPA from your new form of study. So to get into my course, I actually started two other degrees, also because I didn't know what I wanted to do until I started my second degree. Yeah, I, I am very indecisive. <laughs> so by then my grades were high enough to literally get into any course that didn't require a portfolio and I could do the degree I wanted. The next question I got was how to deal with your first day. So I 100% recommend going to the orientation week or orientation day if your school has one. That way you know where all your classes are and where everything is, yeah, especially if it's your first day at uni, like universities are freaking and it's completely normal to be absolutely terrified on your first day but just know that everyone else is in the same boat don't be scared to go up and talk to people because they are just as terrified as you are and it really helps to make a friend like even if you don't end up being friends in the long term it's good for like just recognizing that person in the different classes you go to so it's not awkward when you walk in and you don't know where to sit you can just walk in and be like ah you i've met you before <laughs> also make sure you have all the right textbooks and stationery because you don't want to like get to your first class and not have a pen just be organized be organized guys so i feel like the last question i really got is how to deal with bullies I think because I went to such a small high school, the bullying I experienced was really from people in my friendship group. So if someone is bullying you, just know it's a reflection of their life, not yours. Happy people don't try to make other people's lives miserable. And I know kids can be really cruel. My suggestion would be to not respond to their bullying. If you respond to their bullying, you're giving them what they want, so they're just gonna continue it. If this is physical bullying though, I would definitely recommend talking to like a counselor, a teacher, a parent, because physical bullying is something you can't really just be polite and nice to about. Yeah, like I said before, most of my bullying came from my friendship group and it totally came from like a place of jealousy. Like one girl who was my close friend at the time and she's probably watching this so it's really awkward, <laughs> was going around and telling people like I didn't deserve my boyfriend, I wasn't good enough for him and saying how we're gonna break up soon and how their parents really wanted them to be together. 
Well, that didn't happen. And I promise you, it gets so much better after high school. After high school, if you don't want to talk to someone, you just delete them off social media. And then you never have to see them again. But at uni, I never really had a problem with bullying. Everyone was there for the same reasons, so everyone got along really well. Most people mature a lot after high school. I'm just going to take some of that bronzer and put it in my crease so my eyes don't look so naked. So I feel like those were the main questions that I got. If you guys have any other questions you'd like to hear my opinion on, just let me know in the comments. Now to brows, I'm just going to fill in like the bald bits and the tails because I accidentally shaved them off with the uh, CoverGirl brow pencil. I actually really love this brow pencil. It's super skinny and you get a spoolie. What else can I tell you about my school days? My favorite subjects were maths and drama, even though I sucked at drama. I've got the acting skills of a potato. We just played games every lesson, so it was a bit of a bludge and I loved it. And back in high school, I used to be really good at maths. It just made sense to me on like chemistry. I was also a massive nerd in high school and I still am. I own it. I used to have to teach my IT class because the teacher didn't know what she was talking about. I also never really went to a lot of parties. I would much rather stay at home and play World of Warcraft with my friends. So to set my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with the Colourpop, Colourpop Brow Boss Gel. This stuff is like cement for your eyebrows. It is amazing and it's like $5. Your brows will not be going anywhere throughout the school day with this. Now for lashes, I feel like no one realistically is gonna wear like a full pair of false lashes to school. Ain't nobody got time for this. So I'm gonna find my eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. And we're gonna go in, ow, with some mascara. I pinched my eyelid. So for mascara, I'm gonna use two. Obviously, you don't have to use two if you don't want. It's a bit unnecessary, uh, but I really like the formula of the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. This is waterproof, so it holds a curl really well. The brush, though, is kind of weird. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. And then I'm just gonna go over the top of it with the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. This is just gonna help separate the lashes a bit. Now onto our lips. Who really wants to wear a lipstick to school? Not me. You don't want to be retouching it through the day or have to worry about getting lipstick on your teeth. So I'm going to use a lip balm. My favorite right now is the Lanolips Tinted Lip Balm. It's made with lanolin. La lanolin? Like, like sheep's wool? So it's super hydrating. I love the tint. It's a really natural color. It's going to take some on my finger, put it on my lips. Then the very last thing I like to do was set my makeup just to make sure it lasts that extra mile. So I'm going to use the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 spray. You can also use this as a primer if you like. Personally, I can't be bothered with primer when I'm in a rush, but I am going to use this to set my foundation. So we just want to apply a fine mist to our face. And that is it. We are now ready to face a day of learning. That was kind of lame cat. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more from me. Like I said in the video, if you guys have any other questions you want my advice on or my opinion, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them all. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!